Hello, Form A. This is your tutorial video on how to make dye from scratch in Tinkercad. So the first thing that you are going to do after you have logged in is go up to Learn and click on it. And then you go to Lessons. And then you need to click on See All Lessons. And then it's here, Die from Scratch, the big red die. This lesson is all about the work plane and how to make it work for you. Plus, we combine everything you've learned in all the basic lessons. So I'm going to choose Start. So the first thing that we need to do is it says begin by finding the blank die shape in the Shapes panel. You will find it in the Symbols Shape panel on the right side of the screen. Drag the blank die shape to the area outlined in orange. Tip, you may need to change the drop-down menu from basic shapes to symbols to locate the blank die. So if we go from basic shapes, I don't seem to have it, but we can find it this way. We scroll all the way down. It's there at the bottom, dice. So we drag that over and put it in place. All right. So then we choose next. So it says, locate the work plane tool at the top of the shapes panel on the right of the screen. Click and drag a new work plane to the top surface of the die. So see here it is work plane up in the upper right hand corner. And I drag it over. And now the work plane is on the top of the die. All right, so now everything I put will be on top of the die perfectly. Choose next. Great job. Your work plane now will appear as if it is sitting on top of the die. Next, locate the number one in the shapes panel. You may need to change your shapes filter to text to locate the number shapes. Drag a number one shape to the work plane. So let's go here to text and numbers. We got to scroll down and gets us to W and then there's a one and a two down here. We're going to choose the number two. And then lo and behold, we found our numbers. And so we can take a number one. And place it there on the work plane. Okay. And we can choose next. Because the one is sitting flat on top of the die, we need to adjust it so that it will cut away from the surface, kind of divot into it. So let's move the shape down one millimeter to fit into the highlighted area in orange. Remember, you can change your view or zoom to better view when positioning shape. I would change my snap grid from one to 0.25. That will help with positioning. So again, the snap grid is down here on the bottom and we can choose change it to 0.25. I'm going to rotate up a little bit to view it this way. And I'm actually going to use the arrow keys on my keypad to adjust it so that it can be right in place. Okay. That looks like we're pretty good there. Now, if you can see, we've got to drop it down. And to do that, come to the side and select it, you can see, you can see that there is this little triangle here and you can grab the triangle and that will allow you to raise it up or bring it down and we can bring it down one. And we know that we've gone down because there's a negative one there here. So now this is cutting into the die down below. Let's repeat these previous steps of other numbers on other sides of the die. Grab the work plane tool and drag it to the other side of the die. Before we do that, we're gonna do a couple of things first. Number one is we're gonna choose, click on our number one and we're gonna make it a hole, okay? And then I'm gonna select the number one and the die. So I select both of those items and I'm going to group them. And you're gonna see what happens. It now nicely carves the number one into the work plane 
making our lives a whole lot easier. So we don't have to worry about that number one anymore. It's already become part of the die. All right. So now it's asking us to grab the work plane and do it to the other side of the die. So we will do that. So now we are working on this side of the die. Choose next. Now it says find the yellow number two and drag it to the area outlined in orange. Move it one millimeter inside the die so that it aligns with the shape in orange. So just like we did before, you can grab it like so. And we wanna make sure we're lined up. So I'm gonna use the arrow keys to bring me over a little bit. And then again, I'm grabbing that triangle and I'm gonna lower it down one. And I know I've gone down because it's a negative one, like so. I'm going to make my number two. If I select it, if I select my number two, I can make it then a hole. And then I can select the number two and the die at once. And I can group it. And so now it cuts that two into the die. All right. So let's choose next. Now it says grab the work plane and go to the right side of the die. So again, we grab the work plane, bring it to the side of the die. So now we're gonna be operating on this side. Find the green three shape and drag it to the highlighted area. So here's my three, and grab it like so. And again, I'm going to use my arrow keys to help get it lined up. And then I need to lower it. So I grab that little black triangle, bring it down into it. Again, before I go to the next one, I'm going to make sure I just have the three highlighted. I choose whole, and then I'm going to grab the three and the die all at once, group it, and there it cut into my die, just like my one and my two did. Okay. And we go to next. It wants us to put the work plane over here. So I'm gonna grab it and put it on this side. We choose next. In this case, they want us to do a four. And again, for those of you who don't realize, a proper die has the opposite sides of the die always add up to seven. So three opposite four, equals seven. So now we grab the four, bring it over to it. Again, zoom in a little bit so I can adjust it. I'm using the arrow keys on the keypad to adjust. I need to bring it down one millimeter like so. And then I need to choose four, make it a hole. I'm going to select everything and have it group. And so now we have that four cut in. Choose next. And they want me to put the plane on this side. And that is opposite my two. So I should be doing the number five. So we grab five, bring it over to the work plane. Again, use the arrow keys to help me do those last minute touch ups. And then we grab it, bring it down like so. Make it a hole. Select everything, group it, and it cuts that five nicely into it. So now they're going to ask us to do it one last time. I'm going to drag the work plane over to this side of the die. Oops. Sorry about that. And I hit next, and they put a six there. Again, I'm going to line up my six as best as I can. 
I need to use keys to get it properly aligned. And again, I need to move it into the die so I can move it up into it like so. Let's bring that, there we go. Let's wait a minute. Okay, again, I choose the six, make it a hole, select the six and the die at the same time, and group it. So now it is carved into place. Choose next. It says, great work. You have placed all the number shapes. Let's reset the work plane by dragging a new work plane into the editor and place it anywhere on the ground, not on any of the shapes. So I can take my work plane and it's not on anything. It's just out here. So now I've reset the work plane. So it looks just like before. And we can see our die the six opposite the one, the two opposite the five, and the four opposite the three. Then I can choose next. Select all the numbers and set them into holes. Then you will see the hole option in the inspector. We've already done that. I find it easier to do it one at a time and then instead of all at once. Now select all the shapes, including the die. Group them by clicking the group button. We've already done that. You will know the group was successful if all the shapes become the same color and they have in this case. Congratulations, you have done it. Now to end it, you need to make sure that you rename it, die from scratch with your first initial and last name. 